Creating a new post in WordPress is one of those essential items that it's key to know how to do in order to get the most out of your WordPress powered site. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own posts on your WordPress installation. This is very easy to do. From the WordPress dashboard, you want to go to posts and then click add new. This will take you to the uh, standard WordPress editor. So as you're hopefully familiar with on the left-hand side here, We've got a space for a title and your main content. But then on the right hand side, we've got space for additional information about your post. This includes um, the status of the post, formats of the post, any categories, tags, and any featured images. You'll want to add your content and your title on the left hand side. So I'm going to add um, my title here. And then I'm just going to paste in some content that I've created earlier. And you can, of course, add the styling options that we've discussed earlier using these buttons here. And you also have that toolbar toggle if you can't find this section here. The important parts of your post, though, I include um, changing the permalink, which you can do by pressing edit here. This is the URL of your blog post, and you can just change that by using this editor here. You can add any media by pressing the add media button, but that's something we're going to look at later. On the right hand side, you have the option to change the status of the post. So it can either be pending review draft, or if you click publish, that will publish it. If you're using a blog with multiple authors, then you might want to put posts into pending review, which the editor can then look at, approve, and then publish once you're finished writing them. You can change the visibility to be published, stuck on the front page, that will stick it to the top of your front page or you can have it password protected and you can choose a password or you can select it to be private which will mean it will only show to users who are logged in. You probably want to stick those to public and then press OK. And you also have the option to schedule posts which you can use this date picker here to put that in the future if you want to schedule your content. If you leave that blank though then that will just publish it immediately and you can just click publish in order to do that. You also have the option to move your post to the trash if you want to bin it. You have different post formats here. These are available in some themes. So if you don't see this, then do not worry. It just doesn't come with your theme. Um, you can use this to tailor the design of the site to the specific type of content you've got. Standard is what you'll normally have, but you can also have asides, which will be for short notes, Images for single images, video for videos, quotes for quotes, link for link posts, um, galleries for gallery posts, statuses for status style updates. You also have audio and chat. You'll probably want to leave that on standard most of the time. And you can just leave that on standard regardless if you have any of these type of content in your post. You also have categories. These are groups for your content and you can select as many categories as you like. You just need to tick the category you want the content to display in. And you can also click add new category in order to add additional categories. So you might have an extra category for media and one for politics perhaps. And you can also add subcategories and to do that you just need to click this drop down and then select the pairing category. So I might have domestic politics um, just by adding that subcategory there. And you can just tick or untick these in order to add posts to these categories. And you can have as many as you like. So I might have this as domestic politics, but also news. You can also add tags. These are typically for brief identifiers of the content. So I might have, uh, I might have the name of the politician in my domestic politics piece. Um, and perhaps uh, the party that the politician's in. It's those kinds of things for adding tags there. And you can have as many of those as you like, but also click these crosses there to remove them. You can also add a featured image, which is something your design may support. And to do that, you just need to click set featured image and choose from an image in your library. I've already got one uploaded, so I'm just gonna click set featured image, choose an image I've already uploaded, or upload a new one, which is something we'll cover later on, and then click set featured image in order to add that featured image. Once you're ready to go and you're happy with everything, you can preview by pressing the preview button. And this is gonna show you what the post will look like when published on your site. And once you're happy with all of that, you can make any additional changes and press save. 
or once you're happy, you can press publish and that's gonna publish that onto your site. And we see post publish and if we view that, we've got our new post published on our site. And you see how quick and easy that is. WordPress is a really powerful tool and using posts, creating new posts is integral to your WordPress experience. I hope this video has been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.